Hello YouTube, this is Al coming to you once again for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in today to this very special episode, Saturday Night Fever Film Locations. This is the 40th anniversary and today is December 18th, 2017. It's a little chilly out, but this is really a nice day for December. It's about 42 degrees, but I, didn't, I wanted to wait on this video to kind of wait till I got a camera for Christmas, but actually it's such a nice day today that I didn't want to let this go. I wanted to do it while it was still within the 40th anniversary. So folks, I'm here on the famous bench that Tony Monero sat on with Stephanie. And of course, Saturday Night Fever was the Brooklyn iconic movie that was filmed back in 1976 and released in 77. And back here, over here, is where John Travolta sat with Stephanie. This is where he said he used to come to uh, Daydream. It was kind of an escape for Tony to come here. and. He came here with Stephanie, and you know, this was one of his favorite places to go. Uh, an interesting thing about the movie was that if you watch that bench scene that you can't see on YouTube, Tony reeled off some statistics that were they were accurate. So whoever actually uh, looked up those statistics was correct. And I have them written over here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you the bridge in about a second here. But Tony talked about the bridge being very pretty, and it certainly is very pretty. It's my favorite bridge in the entire world, and to Tony, it represented freedom, and I can totally understand that. As much as I love Brooklyn, I adore Brooklyn, it always represented freedom for me too, because that was the gateway to New Jersey, and to I-95 in the South, and to Florida. And why that seemed like freedom, I don't know, but it always seemed to. So, these are some statistics that Tony reeled off in the movie. And he talks about the tower being 690 feet and 40 million cars passing over every single day, or rather every single year. 127,000 tons of steel in the, in the bridge. Three quarters of a million tons of uh, concrete. Um, the center span, 4,260 feet. Just an amazing bunch of statistics that Tony reeled off. And of course, Saturday Night Fever was a great, great movie because everything was pretty much filmed in Brooklyn. There was a lot filmed within this two miles. So, Rather than talk on, I'm going to show you the bench right over here and do some talking on this end. Alrighty. So, if you guys remember in the movie, um, Tony parked right over here. I'm going to span this around a little bit. This is where Tony and Stephanie walked through over here. He parked his car down this end, and it was actually Bobby C's car in the movie. And I believe that was a 1967 Impala. Now, just going over this way, I'm going to slowly pan over to it this way. You can see how beautiful. Now, that up there, that scene, if you remember in the movie when Bobby C. jumped off the bridge, you, um, they were parked right up on that incline up there. And when Tony walks away and goes onto the subway, he actually walks right up that, they're actually at the top of that incline. And he walks across, this is Fort Hamilton Parkway, where that is right there. And I'm just going to show you this side. Shore Parkway is actually very, very beautiful. You're going to get a little bit of the bridge right there. Today, my only viewers here with me are seagulls. And you can see they're not very shy. Here's the seagulls right there. These are big guys. So they, they eat whatever people drop from these garbage cans. This is a very popular spot in Brooklyn, whether it be summer or winter. And this is called Shore Parkway. A couple of Catholic high schools uh, up there. Um, this right here is what people call the gateway to New York. This is the waterway that you have to go through if you're coming through to go to the Port of New Jersey or the Port of New York. So if you follow this waterway right here, um, it'll lead you right to Manhattan. In fact, there's nothing coming through right now. You see a tugboat over there, but right here is where all the cruise ships pass through. So they have to pass through at a certain time of the day when the tide is low. Otherwise, they're not going to fit underneath that bridge. And got some walkers over here. Not walkers from uh, any favorite shows on TV, just regular walkers. Now, this highway is called the Belt Parkway. They call it the Belt Parkway because it goes around Brooklyn like a belt. Hence the name. You can hear the seagulls right there. I want to ask this lady right here. I don't know if a lot of people, this is the funny part of this thing. I'm going to move this over and I really, forgive me for the movement here, but 
This is the bench. I think you get a better view of the bench right there. And I'm going to ask this lady if she really knows that this is a famous bench. I don't know if she speaks English, but... Hi, how are you? Hi, I have a question for you. I'm filming a video. Did you know that this is the most famous bench in Brooklyn? Do you know why? Did you ever hear of John Travolta? I don't know. Oh, okay. John Travolta is an actor. He filmed Saturday Night Fever. He sat on that bench right there. So this is like the fam most famous bench in Brooklyn. Yeah. All right. You have a good day. I guess I'm getting old, folks. I mean, not a lot of people know. I mean, most people do in Brooklyn, but we have a lot of, um, you know, people from other countries. And not everybody knows that movie. I'm going to ask these folks right here, see what they think. Spinning around right here. Hi folks, come on over. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Did you know that this is the most famous bench in Brooklyn? Did you know that? This is the bench, you ever hear Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta? I don't know. It's a famous movie from 1977. Oh. He sat on that bench right there. It's probably the most iconic movie ever filmed in Brooklyn. Oh. Yeah. Right there. He sat right there. Oh. Yeah, that's where he sat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Okay. Well, folks, this is turning out into a very funny video. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is hysterical. I seem to be the only one here who knows about this, uh, this bridge and this uh, thing of Saturday Night Fever. But anyway, it's going to hoist this up a little bit. And I really don't know how this is looking here. Let me just... All right, all right, cool. I'm gonna take a, this is the bridge. And I really apologize for the view. I should have a camera person with me. My wife is working, I'm going to work uh, right after this. But this is the Verrazano Bridge. And this is a very, very pretty bridge. Like I said, it represented freedom to Tony and to his friends. And the reason for that is, let me tell you, Brooklyn is absolutely beautiful, but especially back in the day, um, and today too, the houses are a little bit bigger in Staten Island and it's more land and people tend to make a little bit more money there. But I, I don't know if that really applies today because Brooklyn is such a smoking hot place now that I don't know if that really still applies, but it is a very beautiful bridge. And if you watch my other video, I got a little more history on the bridge, but um, the bridge was actually going to be called the John F. Kennedy Bridge. It was finished in 1964 and they were going to call it that, but then they figured there were too many things named after the late president. And they decided to call it the Verrazano Bridge after Giovanni Verrazano. Hi folks, how we doing? Hello, how are Hi. you? Hi. Did you know that this is the most famous bench in Brooklyn? It is? This is the bench that John Travolta sat on. No. On Saturday Night Fever. Right oh, here. Okay, cool. I got this video. Yeah. This is awesome. So this is, yeah, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Okay. Uh, I'm so happy you stopped by because you're the first one today who's, who knew that, who ever heard of Saturday Night Fever. Oh, I love that movie. I love that movie. But I love it. If you watch the movie again, this uh -huh. is where they filmed a lot of it. They walk right through here. Uh-huh. And this is where the car was parked. Up there. They walk through that. And they have the car on the top. Yeah. And when Tony walks okay. away from them, he walks right, right over there. Okay. Awesome. It was all pretty much filmed right in Brooklyn. And this is the 40th anniversary. Wow. Yeah. Okay. On the news, they said someone just bought the uh, 2001 club, uh -huh. which hasn't been a club for years. Okay. They're going to open it up again. Beautiful. I think this year sometime, yeah. Beautiful. I don't know if it's going to be like the disco days, but, you know. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. All right. Have a great day. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right. That was fantastic. I actually got someone who actually has heard of the movie. So this is pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna swing it around again for you. Hope you're enjoying this video. Um, there's the bench there. So I have a thing. Um, I, I think it would be great if we could, there's not really too many of these things or any I could think of in Brooklyn, but uh, John Travolta, if you're watching this video, it'd be really cool to have like a bronze statue of you sitting on this bench and I'd love to spearhead that. That'd be a fantastic touristic thing for New York. So if anybody from New York State Tourism Board is watching, I think that'd be a great idea. I'd actually sent, um, John Travolta's got a, like a website where you can send them letters and stuff. So I sent them a quick email talking about that. I think that'd be really fantastic. Because again, there's, there's really, there's no marker here, no sign, no anything. 
of that actually happening. And like I was saying in my other videos that I really think that that was the most iconic movie ever made in Brooklyn because I know for me and my friends, it changed how we dressed, kind of changed how we talked. We started pulling our gold chains out with our crosses and uh, wearing leather jackets. So I think it was a very iconic movie. And like I was telling the lady, someone bought the club, which um, they're supposed to open up again. I don't know what it looks like today. I guess they kind of kept most of it the way it was, but um, we'll see about that. But anyway, um, this is Al from Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. I hope you enjoyed this video of the 40th anniversary of Saturday Night Fever. And uh, it's a beautiful day. That's why I had to do it today here. And uh, if you ever want to come here, I'll give you quick directions. It's the Bell Parkway. It's a rest area right off the Bell Parkway. You really can't miss it. The Verrazano Bridge will be your guide marker. So you'll see it right before that. And uh, it's really cool. So tune in to watch that movie. It's the 40th anniversary. This is Al going to be signing off. If you want to drop me a line, please do leave me a comment. I would love to hear it. Any ideas for future videos? Um, I'd love to hear that too. And I think I'm going to continue on this doing some more some more film locations on Saturday Night Fever. Not today, but along the way. So folks, have a great day. Happy holidays to all. Stay safe. Stay happy. Merry Christmas. And this is Al signing off from the Garden State. I'm sorry, the Garden Spot. Garden State is New Jersey. The Garden Spot of Brooklyn, as, Johnny, as Jackie Gleason used to say. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Have a good day, folks. Bye-bye now.